part two of slices for Arena 4D plugging into Rhinoceros 5, 6, and 7. Here shown in 6, a uh, two point slice. So if I select front view and add a slice, uh, you can see that the slice uh, isn't going through the data as I necessarily would hope. So uh, this, this point cloud data is not aligned to the construction plane or I haven't created a construction plane for this data. So what we can do is if I go to front view, I'm going to turn that slice off to declutter the screen, select two point slice, and I'm going to draw on the data, I get two points to add, and there's a line to show us. And there we are. Now let's move that slice to move perfectly with our data. The slice is a normal slice so you can perform all the operations you may have seen in previous videos. Other features we have here is um, we can position the slice. So the slice is currently just here where I've left it there. Um, but I can click this here, position slice, so select. Click on the screen where I'd like the uh, slice to be. And it moves promptly straight to there. So that's very useful if you wanted to move slice, say, if if you had a very huge point cloud, you may be able to just position it straight onto the edge there rather than having to drag it, etc. etc. Um, other features we have here we have position slice between two points. So here we have a half meter point cloud, uh, sorry, slice. But if I select here, um, this slice is selected, so important you have the correct slice selected. Position between two points, so I'm going to go from here to here. Now we have a big slice. Um, other things you may wish to do, you can align to curve. So it could be a hull of a boat, for example. I'm going to draw a curve on here. So let me just highlight that for you. So. Here we have a nice curve on the point cloud, as you can see. So select the slice of interest here. And unselect the the line we have. So the, the curve I've created, unselect that. Click align to curve. Correct slice is selected. Align to curve. And then select the, um, the line we drew. So there it is there. So now if I drag this slice, you can see it, it slices along that curve. Very, very useful um, if you don't have a, if, you have, if your point cloud goes around corners, etc. Very, very neat way of doing it. Now you can actually draw straight lines. So I did show you the two point slice, but I could actually draw polyline on here there it is um, which is a straight edge and I can actually click the uh, align to curve on that so the correct slice is chosen I'm going to click align to curve make sure the line is turned off clicked select the line now that slice goes up and down against that line. So again, if you have straight edges and you haven't changed your construction plane or aligned the data, you could use a line to curve and draw straight lines. Another feature is vector and outline. Uh, one produces uh, a vector based around the center of the data it can see and one around the outline of the data it can see. So what I'll do here is um, I'll just create a slice, a top view slice here, turn the other ones off. Um, as you can see here, I have some of the pipe work um, from this, this pump here. Um, I'm just going to remove these two lines if you can get in the way. Um, so once you're happy with, with your position of your slice, make it full screen. And then just simply click vector. And you can see it's created the best it can, some uh, vector drawings of the point cloud there. So if I just delete those, I'll do outline. Um, very good looking results there. So what I could do is if I go to point clouds and turn them off, 
you can see there's Rhino vector drawings which you could manipulate further. Um, you could select those and in Rhino you could export selected um, and select so you could export them into different formats the ones you wish so you could load them say into AutoCAD, OBJ etc that's that's for you to choose um just put that back so that shows you and you can see here also on the other the views you've got where it's done those vectors so that's some automated way of um doing some of your drawings